So John has $64 more than Yen Yi. After John gives Yen Yi $9, John has thrice as much money as Yen Yi. How much does John have at first? All right. So notice that this is an internal transfer question because John gives money to Yen Yi. Okay. And I hope you remember that for internal transfer question, okay, there is something that remains unchanged throughout, something that stays the same throughout, which will be your total money. Correct, because it's just circulating the to the money is just circulating within both of them. So the total money stays the same throughout. Okay. Now, however, if you read this question, did they provide us the total money? They did not. Okay, they did not give us any total value. So in this case, um, if I were to use before change after to solve, not so useful because I don't have the total value. If they give us the total value, then yes, I will use before change after to record down my data first. All right, but in this case, total is not given. Hence, what we're going to do is we are going to use model also because of this word more than. All right, also because of this difference given at first. So typically, when I see a difference at the beginning like this, I will usually draw a model to solve the question. All right, so let's record down. First step is to record down your data first, record down the model first. So John, $64 more than Yeni. Now try to draw a big difference of 64 if you um now if you are thinking why am I drawing such a huge model for John, such a small model for Yeni, that is because if you notice John is the one who has much more money at first, and even though later John gave money to Yeni, later John still have thrice as much as her. You see, the situation is like that. He has he is so rich at first, but he still and he actually gave money uh money to Yeni, but in the end he is still much more richer than Yeni. That must have to, you know, give us a clue that John initially must be really so much richer than Yeni. Okay, that is why I show a really huge difference of $64. So once I have labeled this down, let's show the giving part. Okay, so John gave Yeni $9. So we're going to transfer $9 from John to Yeni. So when you show the transfer, you're going to cut away $9 from the model. Of course, $9 should be much smaller than this, yeah? Okay, shade it away. And you are going to transfer this down to Yeni. So Yeni initially was like that. But now I extend another $9. So make sure the sizes are the same. Okay, when you shade away, whatever you shade and whatever you extend, try to make them as equal size as possible. All right. So finally, now in the end, John has tried. That means in the end, John has three units. Now, where are the three units? So three units means everything except the $9. That means without the $9, correct? Because John, if you use your hand, you cover away your $9. You will realize that whatever John has in the end is from here to here. Here to here. This is the unshaded part. So the unshaded part, now we know that there is three units worth. You see, I just label three U. I do not try to go and cut into three units. It's difficult to cut, okay? So just label three U will do. Now, what about Yeni? If John has three units, means, of course, from this sentence, I know Yeni must have one U. Now, where is her new one unit? Is it just this one or is it this whole thing? Okay, so you must remind yourself that this three U and one U is for in the end. In the end, whatever they have in the end. So Yeni in the end got this whole thing. So this is now your one U. And that's it. This is what you have recorded down. Now, once you have recorded this, look at the units difference, okay? Because we would like to work with the units from here. Here to here is 3U. Here to here is 1U. So I hope you can tell that the difference is from here to here. So here to here, your difference will be a difference of two units, correct? Three minus one. This is one U, so remaining from here, which here is two units. Okay, and we're going to find the value of these two units. Now, how do I find the value? So if you realize that if I can cut this, this will act like a $9 as well, right? So your two units is actually this block. So that will be your 64, taking away this nine, taking away this nine also to get this block. Okay, so 64 minus two nines. Of course, next step is to find the value of 1U, which is $23. 
Okay, so once this is done, read the question. They want John at first. Okay, every time you get one, you read, read the question. You want John at first. Now, identify where is John's at first. So John at first, is it just the white portion or is it the whole thing? Okay, so your white, uh, your at first should be the whole thing. This $9 before he gave away was included in the at first. Okay, so everything here, now to find everything, you can first find out three units first. Three units is from here to the dotted line. So let's work out three units, which is $69. So here to here is $69 until the dotted line here. So your at first means you must add back the $9 that he has given away. Okay, and that's it.